Okay, okay, Tops Fashion Journey Intro. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen from wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to our fashion journey. Here we are still continuing with a detailed introduction to sewing, stroke tailoring, and in today's episode number seven, practical video four, we are having a practical pattern making class tutorial where we will be drafting an angakra or you can call it a body protector dress using a simple but detailed step by step method that i will be showing you also i will be unveiling new tricks on how to calculate body measurements so watch the video up to the end also if you haven't watched other episodes i do request you go back to my playlist and watch them too now ladies and gentlemen let us jump straight to our angakra or body protector pattern draft practical class so guys here are the must draw lines as usual i first draw this vertical guideline which will be the center or the starting point of all my round body measurement placements and also this horizontal line which will be the first line and it is where i'm going to place the neck measurements as well as the initiation of a shoulder drop or shoulder slope now as you can see, I'm done with the drawing of these two lines. Next step is inserting my other horizontal lines in a vertical way. I begin by determining the chest depth line. To get the chest depth line from here, which is the starting point for all my measurements, measurement placement, I mark downwards chest measurements divided by 4 minus one inch giving me the answer which is my chest measurement is 35 when i divide it with the four giving me 8.75 inches i subtract one inch giving me seven three quarter or 7.75 inches now i mark from this starting point to here my seven three quarters like this <music> After, I square across a straight line like so. Next is getting the waist line depth. Still from this starting point, which is also the neck area, I measure downwards neck to waist which is determined by the height of your client but usually it ranges between 14 to 17 inches but for my case in this tutorial my client is not too tall and is not too short so i go with 15 inches now i mark here 15 inches after i square across a straight line in this way Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to label your already drawn lines, horizontal lines. So here, label this as chest line, then this one, then this one, waist line. After, the next depth line that I'm supposed to determine is the hip depth line. So, in this tutorial, in this tutorial video, I'm showing you a new trick for getting the hip line. The trick is from this waistline, I measure downwards my hip measurements divided by 4 minus 2 inches. Actually, that's a new trick giving you the answer. So now, my hip measurements in this, in this tutorial is 38 inches. When I divide it by 4, giving me 9 point, I subtract 2 giving me 7.5 now i mark my 7.5 inches here like this 
after I square across a straight line like so. Then the last but not the least horizontal depth line to be determined is the cloth hemline or you can say dress full length. By protocol, the length of a dress is determined by your client's desires. He or she can choose mini short, short, long or too long. So you as a designer, you go by your customer's choice. But but note, this doesn't apply to every fashion. Therefore, there are some fashions that need designers or tailors input to avoid, to avoid what I ordered versus what I got slogan. So guys, the full length of my dress in this video will be 40 inches. So I measure from this starting point downwards my 40 inches. See, my pattern paper is short. I had to just improvise another uh, paper and pin them together so that I can get enough working area for my project. And I mark 40 inches here like this after I square across a straight line like so. After, next is adding hem allowance depth line. So from this hem line, I measure downwards allowance of two inches and I mark two inches here after I square across a straight line in this way. Still, don't forget to name these lines. So I label this as hip line, uh, then this uh, dress full length and this this one is hem allowance line. Now, now guys, we are done with placing these horizontal lines vertically. Now, the next step is to input our body measurements to these horizontally, uh, to these horizontal lines accordingly. As usual, I always begin with working on the shoulders. So my client's shoulders, my client's shoulder measurements is 15.5 inches. That means I will get 15.5 inches. I divide by two, giving me 7.75 inches. So from this starting point, I mark my 7.75 inches here like this. Also, I square 7.75 inches here. Then after I square up a straight line in this format. Now, after determining this, I come at the chest line. I insert my chest measurements divided by 4 plus 1 inch for ease which is my chest is 35 inches. I divide it by four, giving me 8.75 inches plus one inch for is allowance, giving me 9.75 inches. So I mark my 9.75 inches here like this. Also, I come to the waistline. I insert waist measurements divided by four plus one inch for that, for the dart, or oh, one inch that allowance. So my waist is 30 inches. I divide it by four, giving me 7.5 inches. Now, I add one inch for the dart, giving me the total of 8.5 inches. So I mark 8.5 inches here like this. Then I come at my hip line here. I insert hip measurements divided by four plus one and a quarter inches for his allowance. My hip measurement is 38. I divide it by four, giving me 9.5. So here is my 9.5 inches. I add one and a quarter inch for his allowance here like this. 
all together giving me a total of 10.75 inches so i mark my 10.75 inches here like this next is working at the hem line or the dress bottom at this hem line from this point i mark across chest measurements divided by three plus one inch giving me the answer so my chest measurement is 35 when i divide it by three giving me 11.6 inches plus one giving me 12.6 inches but i'll just customize it to 13 inches so i mark my 13.6 i mean my 13 inches here like this still at the hem allowance line i mark 13 inches like this after that the next thing is creating the dress side seam line i connect this point to this point and this point also all the way to the hem allowance line in this format Ladies and gentlemen, please, please, please support this channel by watching all my other videos, share them, like them, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, thanks a lot. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks a lot. So continue watching our Angakra Stroke Body Protector Pattern Draft. After connecting these points, don't forget to blend these sharp corners like this. Now, after determining this, the next is getting the neck width. First, I'm going to determine the depth of the back. I will measure downwards one inch from this starting point for the back neck. For the back and neck depths after I square across a straight line like so. Then for the neck with this, I get chest measurements divided by 12 giving me the answer. My chest measurement is 35. I divide by 12 giving me 2.9 inches. So I mark 2.9 inches here. Also, I square up a straight line like so. After I've determined the neck with this, I go ahead to get the shoulder slant or slope. Since our shoulders are never straight, so I come at this point. I measure downwards 0 0.75 inches for shoulder slant. After I connect this point to this point to create my shoulder slope line like this. Then I come back to the neck area to get that curve of the neck. Remember for this video we are dealing first with the back neck. At this point I mark diagonally a quarter inch then using my free hand i create a curved line like this after that the next thing is creating the armhole curve i measure from this point to the chest line i divide it from this point to the chest line i divide it by two to get the midpoint so i mark my midpoint here then from this midpoint i create my armhole curved line in a curving way like this guys for this tutorial pattern draft i haven't added any say side seam allowance so let us add seam allowance as follows here at the shoulder line, I will add 0 0.5 inches. Then I recreate my seam allowance lines with a red marker pen in this way. Also at the armhole line, I add 0 0.5 inches all the way to here. Then 
Then I recreate my SIM allowance lines with a red marker pen in this way. But for the side SIM, at the chest line, I add SIM allowance of 2 inches. Also at the waist line, I add SIM allowance of 2 inches. All the way to hip line, dress hem line, and hem allowance line. Still, I redraw my SIM allowance line with a red marker pen like this. Guide. Here is your guide. Ladies and gentlemen, it's better to add more of seam allowance on the sides so that you avoid getting fabric shortage when doing the stitching. And you can trim it afterwards. Now, as you can see, we are done with the drafting. Next, is, next thing is to trim our pattern off. But the neck will not be trimmed because we will use it to guide we will use it to guide in drafting the front neckline. Okay, this video is actually this video is detailed in a step by step method because I want you a new pattern maker stroke a beginner to get familiar with the parts, uh, corners and words or terminologies that are used in the pattern drafting, that are used in pattern drafting. Now, I'm done with the trimming and I'm done with the trimming and this is the back part and it is this back part that I'm going to use to draft the front part too. So I get a new pattern paper, I lay it in this way, then I mark from this edge inwards 5 inches to secure space or working area for for the for the front overlap as per this image as you can see that's our angakra or body protector it's overlapping then i align my already cut back apart pattern to this point then i pin them together so that it doesn't disturb or move when i start tracing the back pattern block Please, I still request for your support. I really want this channel to grow. So guys, share, like, and subscribe if you are a returning viewer. Thanks a lot. Okay, after I have finished pinning them together, I will go ahead to trace these lines using this tracing wheel like this. For your own information, Tracing is a fashion language that simply means photocopying. Don't be lost when you hear me saying a tracing, tracing. It means photocopying in, 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 in a layman's language. But in fashions, in pattern drafting, we say tracing. So guys, I'm done with the tracing now. It is time to insert my adjacent measurements. Sorry guys, my camera has again stopped working banange what's wrong with my camera but as you can see i traced out this line from the chest waist hip uh, all the way to hem hem line and hem allowance line then i measured from this point to this point chest measurements divided by 12 plus a half giving me the answer my chest measurements is 35 I divided it by 12 giving me 2.9 inches plus a half giving me uh, 3.4 
inches but i have to just customize it to 3.5 inches so i mark here 3.5 inches all the way to down for the overlap at the center front then i squared up this straight line afterwards i went ahead and traced out my front curved line like this then i had to highlight these traced lines with a marker pen so guys we continue now i'm going to trim the front part also like this I'm going to lift this backer part and then I continue with the trimming of the front part. Always remember that the armhole of a front part is deeper than the armhole of a backer part. So, I come here, I lift the back part, I lift the back pattern, then I deepen the front armhole like this. After I trim this excess off like this. Now, guys we are almost getting done with the drafting of the back and the front angakra or body protector pattern i continue labeling this also as front pattern piece while cutting on fabric you cut two pieces of fabric one for the left side then the other is for the right side also the backer part you still cut on fabric two pieces one for the left side then the other is for the right hand side this line is the center back then this one is the center front overlap now i separate my back part from the front Don't forget to trim off this neck excess from the back part. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Angakara Stroke Body Protector Pattern Draft is ready as you can see. The next step is drafting the Angakara Sleeves. When drafting the sleeves, I will work on my pattern paper while on fold. Still if you are cutting directly still if you are cutting it directly on fabric, make sure that the fabric piece you are using is on fold like this. So I can I can now proceed with inserting my body measurements. As usual, I first draw one horizontal line at the top of my pattern paper or fabric which will be my starting point make sure that you indicate the side which is on fold like this then after i determine the bicep line to determine the bicep line i get my chest measurements i divide by 12 giving me the answer plus two inches that's plus two inches that's a standard uh, figure which is my chest measurements is 35 i divide it by 12 giving me 2.9 inches plus two inches standard figure giving me 4.9 so from this starting point i mark downwards 4.9 inches then then i square across a straight line like so after next is marking my angakra sleeve lengths so from this starting point i measure downwards sleeve lengths and in this video my client sleeve length is 20 so is 20 inches so i mark here 20 inches like this then i square across a straight line like so 
Also, you need to add bottom hem allowance to your sleeve. So I add one inch hem allowance like this after I square across a straight line like so. Next is working on the bicep line. I come at this point. I measure chest measurements divided by four minus one inch. My chest is satisfied i mean my chest is 35 i divide by four giving me eight three quarters minus one inch giving me seven three quarters so i mark here my seven three quarters like this then i connect this point to this point like this then i come at this bottom line I insert chest measurement divided by 6 minus 1. Remember, my chest is 35. When I divide by 6, giving me 5.8, I subtract 1 inch. Standard unit, it's a standard, that 1 inch is a standard figure, giving me 4.8 inches. So, I mark my sleeve bottom opening 4.8 inches here like this. Then, I connect this to this in this format note guys as i told you in the back and the front drafting time i'm making this tutorial a detailed step by step so that beginners can understand all the concepts of pattern drafting wow the sleeve is already taking shape next is i come to this diagonal diagonally drawn line i divide here to here by two getting the midpoint a then also from midpoint a to this point i divide by two to get my midpoint b then from this midpoint b i move upwards by 0 0.25 inches then at midpoint a i move upwards 0 0.5 inches after Using my free hand, I connect this point to this point to create my back sleeve cap, my back sleeve cap curved line like this. After all this, I proceed to trim off my sleeve. So guys, as you can see, our sleeve pattern is almost getting ready. Always remember, the front sleeve head is deeper than the back. So next is to determine one side for one side to be the front side. First, I will trace out these points to, to the other side of my same pattern piece like this. Then from this point, which was midpoint A, I move upwards 0 0.25 inches. And at this point, which was midpoint B, I move downwards 0 0.5 inches. Then using my free hand still, I connect this point in a curved way like this to create an S-like appearance for my front side like this. Then after I trim off this excess from my front side. Now guys, we are done with the drafting of Angakra sleeve. So we are done with the drafting of Angakra sleeve. See how beautiful and shaping it is. That's all. <laughs> it's nice. Guys, that's all what I had for you today. And if you have seen this video is helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, 
please comment if there is anything you did not understand or you wish to add to this class tutorial please just leave your comment in the comment section down below so i need really you really need to learn you need to know you need to learn actually you need to know everything and when you're following these videos my dear fashion studios my dear fashion designers my fellow people in the fashion industry learn fashion terminologies that's why i always make my most of my videos prolonged and detailed so that i want you to know the words that we use and every corner that we draft and the step by step so guys uh um, let me also rest see you in the next video that will be see you in my next video that will be practical video number five yoga kere shalom god bless you thanks